just taking a quick look at this new Anchor Solix C1000. And so this is Anchor's new offering in this kind of mid-size class that is very capable, right? So this is the big appeal is that the capability is there, the weight, the size, is not there <laughs> basically so um so yeah if you follow the channel you know i this is kind of just like my my favorite this is my favorite thing so we get you know about around a thousand watt hours of capacity but that's combined with an 1800 watt inverter right this is this is what you want if you want to be able to pretty much power anything you need 1800 watts right that's 15 amps from you know a standard wall socket that's that's what they're all rated for so that's all you need and so this thing's going to be going up against the big three players in this class you know the ecoflow delta 2 blue eddy ac 180 and the jackery 1000 plus so they all have pretty similar uh, specs and features although they do vary a little bit so i will at the end of the video kind of do like a little bit of a comparison to all those models all right now let's just go over all the specs here real quick so you know yes we do get the lfp battery 3000 life cycles and then, you know, the charging here is, is going to be fast, <laughs> basically. You know, it doesn't get any faster than this. 58 minutes, you know, the whole thing, 100% charge on that. And they do mention 1,300 watts going into this thing. You know, of course, with the app, you know, there's an app as well. You can, you can set the speed kind of how you want. You know, I wouldn't I always recommend doing the fastest charge, but it's there. It's an option. It's available. Now for the solar, yes, 600 watts, so pretty good specs on that. Now the voltage input is kind of, you know, <laughs> like Anchor likes to always do, it's, it's a little bit tricky here. So, you know, they do state that it's 11 to 60 volts and it is using an XT60 connector. But the thing is, it, the, the amount of amps you can accept depends on the voltage. So you gotta have over 32 amps, uh, excuse me, you gotta have over 32 volts in order to get 20 amps. So otherwise you're just limited to 10 amps. You know, kind of the ideal setup they're probably thinking is that they want you to use their 400 watt panels. Of course, you know, those are expensive. And if you wanna really get that 600 watt max uh, consistently too, even if conditions aren't perfect, you'd over panel it a little bit with two of those in parallel, right? So um, since those are already at 50 volts, you, you would, you're always gonna wanna hook these, uh, these higher voltage anchor panels up in parallel. Um, if, like I said, if you have other kind of just standard other brand solar panels that are typically around 20 volts, you're going to have to hook those up in series to kind of get to that magic, you know, 32 to 60 volt range, which is going to enable that 20 amp input, right? Otherwise, you're just going to be limited to 10 amps. <laughs> now, as I mentioned, yes, there's the app and it is Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. And then we do get this UPS feature, you know, so that's what a lot of these have. Obviously, you know, if you're charging from the wall and then you're outputting as well, you know, it's going to just pass it through. But if the power goes out, boom, you know, it's going to switch over 20 milliseconds or less is what they're saying. So that's, you know, pretty decent. It should work for like most computers and stuff. And so small size, mighty power. Yes. You know, that's a 15 percent smaller than industry average. Kind of, you know, basically this thing's the same size and weight as the Delta II. And, <laughs> you know, the Delta II has been my favorite unit this one might be my new favorite because you know guess what they're saying 26.5 pounds right so very portable you know almost anybody can can lift that and move that easily right this is the big appeal and yet you're combining it with that mighty power that 1800 watt inverter and this thing does have that voltage dropping feature as well the surge pad that can do up to 2400 watts now we'll, we'll get to that here in a second but yeah it is it is lighter than the blue eddy ac 180 and the jackery 1000 plus so so yeah and we do get that really nice light on the front that anchor always puts on the front of their models uh you know i i still prefer having the light on the back but this is a good light because it's so large it's so large it's not going to blind you you don't want to have just like a little spotlight <laughs> like jackery puts on their models all right, now as usual, let's talk about the design here because I actually I really like the way this thing looks. And I, I kind of like the direction Anchor's kind of taken with this. You know, I was real critical of the 767. I, you know, they changed the names on these things. Now they're the, the Solix F2000. And well, anyways, I was real critical of that thing because I thought it was a step backwards, right? That thing actually came out after the 757, which is F1200 or something now. And, you know, it basically, it, it looked more like their older models, which were just kind of more cheaper, basic, generic-looking power stations. They, you know, I thought they really knocked, 
knocked it out of the park with the design of the 757. So they've kind of, I, I really like what they've done here. They, they, they've kind of taken a, a mix of that 757 and the, the kind of more rounded, maybe just more rugged, you know, just more tolerable to, to abuse and being thrown around design of the 767. And they've kind of combined it, right? So um, this one does look nicer. We do get, you know, the silver accents now. It's not just all black. And, you know, they still have the, the blue details on the, the cooling vents. And, yeah, so it's just a good design. I actually, I really like the little detail they put on the top there with the, with the brand name kind of embossed into the top. Now, for the layout, you know, we get all of the output ports on the very front of the unit, which I love to see. Um, the charging stuff's over here on the side. But, yeah, look at this. We, <laughs> we get six AC output ports. You know, that's, that's incredible, right? I mean, a lot of these power stations, they kind of jam just a few of them together real close. So yeah, you can pretty much, you're going to be able to plug on anything you want to be able to plug into this thing, right? So, um, and then this is, this is real interesting, what I was talking about, the surge pad. They actually mention, and if you actually look here, zoom in here real quick, this is actually a 20 amp style outlet just right there. So when I first saw this, I thought, is this like, is that like the only outlet that you can get that surge pad feature with? That's what I thought, but then reading down below, it just basically says, you know, if you try to exceed 1800 watts, you know, it's going to activate that if you have that switched on in the app. So, and plus you would kind of need to have more than one appliance plugged into this thing in order to exceed 1800 watts, right? We talked about that. I'd like to see more documentation on, on this feature and if it really is just that outlet or, or what, because it's kind of just a weird thing to have it like that. Now, one thing that I don't like that Anchor's been doing for a while now, with they put these rubber covers on the, the 12 volt, you know, the car socket, and I've talked about this in some of my other reviews with like the new Jackery. They actually got rid of those covers. So that's, you know, actually a thumbs up from Jackery. But um, it's not just the cover and the annoyance of the cover, you know, having to remove it. But I just, I really don't care for how they just write out car socket on there. Just to me that, that it just makes this unit look more like a toy or something, something cheap like that. I think if they were really dead, at, you know, they really wanted to put that cover on there, I think. Maybe just, you know, have, have it say 12 volt. I think that would have been fine. Um, or just, you know, get rid of the cover. <laughs> so I actually threw that in the Photoshop. And you can see it just, it looks better. It's cleaner. And then, like I said, when you go to use it, you just plug stuff into it. You don't have to mess with the cover. I've talked about this too. You don't have covers for the other ports. So, you know, what are you, you know, what are you really accomplishing with that cover? I don't know. And then the other thing is, like, why didn't we get, it looks like there's a spot here. <laughs> Why don't we get, you know, two barrel ports, the 5521s there, 12 volt outlets as well. You know, why, <laughs> what is that for? It's almost like they got rid of that at the last second. All right, and here's just kind of a quick comparison chart, you know, of kind of the top specs and features of those, those other three models, the Delta II, the AC-180, and the Jackery 1000 Plus. You know, they're all very similar. They vary a little bit. Um, but as I mentioned, you know, the Delta II has kind of been my previous favorite just because I love lightweight like i love the portability of having a lightweight power station um with big specs <laughs> and so this this is actually take a look at it but basically it looks like it's at the top of the class now so yeah really nice offering from anchor and i'm really happy with almost every aspect of it and hopefully you just kind of found this overview helpful or interesting and yeah thanks for watching